Who are some of the best anglers to ever compete in professional bass fishing that haven't won a Bassmaster Elite Trophy? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. Thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new members, all the people who are interactive on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you're not a member or a subscriber, it's quick and easy and free. So click that subscribe button and welcome to the team. I need to just get something off my chest right off the bat. I know the channel has changed drastically this year. The Closer Look videos are fun for me to do and to show you how the lure works. And that's where the channel was supposed to go. The channel wasn't successful being that way. While I'm still going to throw some Closer Look videos in every week, it just isn't where I think I should be. Creating content is not easy. It's almost a full-time job at this point. And I'm trying to be successful, trying to do something different, trying not to, to be completely negative and biased. I try to come up with topics that other people aren't doing and try to make that video so that we can have an open discussion about that topic. It's not to throw dirt at somebody. It's not to throw shade at somebody. It's not to dig up dirt. It's to have an open, frank, frankful, truthful discussion, a back and forth debate. You could be wrong. I can be wrong. It's not anything against anyone, but I want to cover the news. I want to cover the things that are in the sport, but I also want to have what we would call articles that not only captivate your brain and your mind, but also give us a topic that we can openly discuss. Having said that, this video is not about to dig at anybody, but there are several anglers that have had fantastic careers, but haven't won an elite trophy. And that's what we're going to talk about. This is only about the Bassmaster elites. I have seven anglers. Some of them are fairly new. Some of them have had years and years of experience in the elites. But when you look at their careers, all of these guys have been extremely successful and I mean extremely successful, but they haven't reached or haven't been able to lift over that trophy above their head. And I thought I'd start with some of the younger guys and then move in. My first guy is one of my favorite anglers on this planet, John Cox. He was formerly the number one world ranked angler for, I don't even know how many months. It was ridiculous. He's won a couple Bassmaster Opens, but has never won an Elite Series trophy. He has cashed 73 out of 93 times on the Elites. That means 73 out of 93 times he got a check for fishing the Bassmaster Elites. John has over $800,000 in career earnings only on the Bassmasters. And he's only been in there for four or five or six years. He won a bunch of stuff on the FLW, but not on the Elite Circuit yet but it's coming. And John has been a pro for 12 years. But no trophy yet, but I do see one coming for him. Next is another FLW pro who was a Forest Wood Cup champion, has been one of the best YouTube content creators on this planet, and it's Scott Martin. Now Scott's won a Bassmaster Open this year to qualify for the, the Classic in 2025, but he's been close to winning, but he had a real bad year in 2024. Scott has cashed 42 out of 67 times while fishing the elites. He's had one third place, two classic appearances, and he is the 2011 Forest Cup champion and has had $366,000 in Bassmaster career earnings. Scott has been a pro for 22 years. Most of it was with FLW, but he is right in the mix every except in 2024, he's usually in the mix to possibly win that tournament on the Elite Series. I think Scott's another angler that has a great opportunity to catch or to catch enough fish to hoist that trophy. But at this point in time, no trophy. Next is another one of my favorite people on earth, Brandon Card. Brandon was Rookie of the Year. He's been a pro for 11 years. He's had over $930,000 in Bassmaster earnings. I don't even have to look at that at my notes. I know that for a fact. He's a seven-time classic qualifier. He's cashed in 92 out of 142 tournaments. He's had one second place. He was rookie of the year in 2020, 
in 2012 and is one of the good people out there. He has a beautiful wife. He has a beautiful son. He is just a good person, but he hasn't hosted that trophy. I think he has an opportunity to do it too. I think Brandon's one of the, I think he's one of the better anglers. I think he can scope, he can fish, he can do it all. He can fish down here in Florida and he can fish up north too. He has the plethora of fishing skills and I think Brandon's one of the guys that you should watch out for soon. Now we're going to get into some guys that have been in the, the elites for a long time. Clark Winlet's my next angler. He's been in a pro for 30 years. He's had six classic appearances. He's cashed 98 out of 151 tournaments. He's had four seconds. He's had three thirds. And he has almost $900,000 in career earnings. Clark is another fantastic angler. Maybe not forward-facing sonar dominant, but he's doing everything he can to learn and be a better angler. Clark is a really fantastic angler. And I think I think really, to be honest, I think all these guys have a shot at winning a trophy. And this is just to say, just, just to, to have a conversation and go, which one of these guys do we think will have will get the trophy first? Next is Matt Heron, one of the most honest, truthful guys you will ever meet in your life. He's been a pro for 19 years. He has 127 out of 178 elite championships or elite tournaments he has cashed in. 127 out of 178. He has two seconds, three thirds, $1.2 million in career earnings, and he's been in 10 classic appearances. He's not, he will be very vocal and upfront and honest and truthful and respectful. He's one of those guys that I just love talking to. He's really great to talk to. He just does, he just shoots it straight. But will he, is he, will he win the trophy before any of these other guys? 2025 will be his last season. That's Bernie Schultz. He's been a pro for 30 plus years. He has had 188 caches out of 372. He's had, uh, he hasn't ever come in second place, but he has one third place. He's won at $1.253 million in career earnings, nine classic appearances. And he knows more about antique lures than you will know about any lure in your life. He is fantastic with antique lures. It's his passion. It's his hobby. And to be quite honest, Bernie is a really good dude. Wholehearted. Just a good man from top to bottom. Uh, I always enjoy talking to Bernie, to be honest. Uh, I look forward to talking to him, too, really. He's a good guy. But will Bernie get a trophy before any of those guys? And... Really, 2025 is going to be his last season, he says. Last but not least is probably hands down the one that I think most people will be surprised has not had a trophy, and that's Gerald Swindle. And Gerald's a two-time angler of the year. He has cashed 226 times out of 326 tournaments. He is a 20-time qualifier for the Classic, and he's had one, he won in the Southern Open years and years ago. He has eight seconds, nine thirds, almost $2.5 million in career earnings, but never host, hoisted that elite trophy. Probably one guy that we all want to see do it. If there's one guy that deserves it, one guy that needs it, and one guy that we all want to see, it's Gerald Swindle. So here's my question to you. Who out of all these anglers will get their trophy first? Swindle, John Cox, Matt Heron, Brandon Card, Clark Wenlet, Scott Martin, or Bernie Schultz? That's my question to you. So comment below and tell me who will get that first trophy from the elites. They might have won an open and stuff. That's different. In the elite series. Some might actually say getting an open trophy is harder than getting an elite trophy. I think I would say that. But we're just looking at the Bassmaster elites. Who out of those seven anglers will hoist that trophy above their head first? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I should say right now, thank you again. Tight lines, cheers, and thank you.